Hey everyone, it's Erin from The Painted Tin Bin. So, um, let me start by saying, pushing the record button on your phone so you can record this, probably a really smart idea. <laughs> so if you got a heart from the Springfield High Booster um, fundraiser, um, I apologize. I'm gonna catch you up, but I'm already halfway through my shape. So, but I'm starting over. Uh, I just not starting my shape over again. Um, so, but we're gonna talk about everything that you have in your kit. And um, then also just how to get where I'm at and then we'll keep going, okay? So um, in your kit, you have your heart metal. Really loud, okay? Um, you have your heart shaped metal. It will be primed, it'll be white, it will not be red. Uh, or pink um so you can uh so that's ready for you to go um a handmade with love card so everything that you see here is locally made locally designed locally packaged by yours truly and my husband um who got who gets roped into all my crazy things so give us a like give us five stars we always appreciate that and if you have any questions or have or anything any problems um our emails on there um and then also our hashtag so we really like to see completed pictures see this is how my first the first part of the video went like stuff was falling oh i've been on tv too much okay um but we like to see completed pictures so normally we do workshops and this little slice of heaven that we call the painted tin bin. Um, but right now during COVID, we, we really can't do that. So uh, the paint kits is our way of getting crafty, metal cuteness and craftiness out to you, but then we don't see them. So um, our hashtags are on there, hashtag metal cuteness, hashtag painted tin bin, um, and we will check you out. And then you will have um, uh, written instructions as well. So it really kind of depends on what you want to do if you want to do just the written instructions they're pretty basic and you can kind of design whatever you want um this video i'm going to show you how to do kind of like a very nostalgic um retro heart um it's going to have black scalloped edges it's going to have white polka dots you don't have to do it this way. You can do it any way you want. You can make a white heart with red and pink polka dots. You could do a black heart with pink and red polka dots. Like it's totally your call. So um, just know that. Paint. Um, you guys will get um, pink, red, black, and white. Again, you can do anything you want with it. And then you have a baggie. It's got some sponge brushes. It's got um, your polka dots and a skinny brush. And, and we'll talk about all the things as we go through this process. So um, I highly encourage you, I'm gonna talk really fast to how to get to this point. Uh, thank you, internet, interwebs and uh, phone issues. Um, so you can't, the glory of this video is that you can pause it and come back to it or you can pause it and finish and go. See, again, you know what? <laughs> I think this is video number like 20 I've done so far. So I apologize to you all. But, okay, so your shape is primed on one side. Now you see me flipping mine over. From, I did pink on one side, red on the other. Um, you are more than welcome to do that. It's only primed on one side for you. So whatever side that it is primed on, do that one first. Um, I just tend to do both sides because I can take pictures for the, these are products that I use in my pictures and people like to see options. That's all. You do not have to do both sides. Um, and in most cases it would not make sense for you to paint both sides because the other part is either going to be on the back of the door or the back of the wall or whatever the case may be. So, um, using... <laughs> Yep, that's what it's going to be. Okay, so <laughs> it, we're going to work with the red side, okay? It's white. We're going to grab one of our sponge brushes and then we're going to grab um, our white uh, paint. Now, for your paint, it is um, super durable Sherwin-Williams paint. It is not going to go anywhere. So everything about this 
craft, you can put it outside and it's gonna last outside and it's gonna wear well for years, okay? So the Sherwin-Williams paint is super amazing, super durable. So you can put it outside, but you can also keep it on the inside or put it on a door, whatever you want. Put it in a cubicle, put it in a kid's room, put it in an interior door. So grab it, you red. I'm really sorry, everyone. <laughs> oh, all I can do is laugh at myself, right? So um, we're gonna work with the red. So grab your red and you may wanna grab like maybe like a paper plate or something. You can put um, your paint on that and you're gonna put a little bit of paint on it. First coat, you're gonna go up and down and you're gonna keep it thin, okay? So you're gonna work um, your paint. I'm gonna kind of mimic it, if you will. So you're gonna, um, first one's gonna go up and down, okay? And I'll tell you my logic here in a minute. It's not really anything based on um, science or research, it's just based on my own research and what I like to do. So first coat, up and down, red, thin. And then there are two, then you gotta let it dry. So there's two ways you can let it dry. First one is you can walk away for about 10 minutes. Go take the dog for a walk, go clean your room, go flip the laundry, whatever you gotta do. Um, the other one is to use a hair dryer. Now, if you're gonna use a hair dryer, you have to use it on cool. On my hair dryers, I have to hold a button in to maintain the cold air. The reason why you have to use the cool setting or the colder air is so that it does not heat up the metal. When metal is warmed up, it expands, and then when it's expanding, it's moving. So then your paint is not gonna stick to your metal, then your paint's gonna fall off, and then you're gonna have to start all over again. Nobody's got time for that, especially me today, apparently. So, um, so first coat up and down. And when you use a hair dryer, it really only takes like 45 seconds to a minute at the most if you keep your coats thin. So that's how thin you really should keep your coats of paint um, throughout this process. Second coat, okay, we dry it. Second coat, left to right. Okay, again, keeping it thin. Um, making sure that um getting coverage sometimes people like to um so you can see here you know some of the white is showing through on the edge but then there's some pink and then there's some red um people like to just do a quick swipe around it that's totally fine i don't typically do that um on a large door hanger this is gonna go outdoors um on a, a, a wreath so people aren't gonna be up close to, like looking at it like if it was in my cubicle if it was one that maybe was in my cubicle at my day job i would probably do that just a quick swipe but so second coat left to right I need to go for a run or something. I don't know what the deal is. So, okay. And then dry it. So, now, in my mind, when I say nostalgic Valentine, I'm thinking of a heart that has the black scalloped edges, you know? So, I'll show you how I did that um, in a super easy way. So, this is just a little plastic cup that we use um, here in workshop for paint. We don't use, obviously, the bottles when we're here in workshop. And um, you see the mark that I did? And I did one on the other side, too. I just went all the way around and with a pencil made that tracing. And that gave, that gives me a scalloped edge. Now, again, I'm doing this design. You don't have to. You can do it any way you want. Um, you, you don't, you could be done. You can paint it red, put the bow on it and you'll be good to go. I mean, that's fine. Um, another popular thing that we've seen is also, um, like on the S video. So you could run over to the S video, a black trim, just a black, thick black line all the way around it. And then white polka dots in that. That's super nostalgic, super cute as well. So really kind of your call what you want to do. The other cheating way <laughs> you could do this, um, if you go to your local craft store, they have these little, I call them daubers. I have no idea what they are. They're sponge, they're just a sponge brush. And you could use this to make your scallops if you wanted to as well. I typically, um, I, I don't typically use those. I typically don't have them in workshop. I just happen to have them right now. Plus I wanted to show you how to do this design um, 
with your with the, the materials you have so grab something um you know it could be the bottom of a cup it could be um a little container of spices that you have you know just think small um it could be maybe a bottle of shampoo so just make some marks and then you can kind of go around and start making your scallops and then now is the fun part so we're going to take our black and um, we're going to keep it again keep it thin we're not going to take a ton of paint and what we're going to do move you back there we go um i'm going to start on the edge and um start working on my scallops now i will tell you that your first instinct is to probably try and make it as perfect as possible um i would tell you you should not make it as perfect as possible on this first round the first round what i would concentrate on would be um getting your just your scallop okay um you can fill it in if you want it's totally fine but um i'm just gonna fill in the scallop you could even use your skinny brush and and do it that way so that you can kind of get um you know a really precise line on your scallop but i think this is gonna be a nice like vintagey kind of look and again i i'm doing it on this side with the red, I'll do it also on the other side with the pink, and I just think that it's gonna be really cute. I've noticed that black, white, and red are pretty popular this year for Valentine's Day. Um, kind of like the bad elementary joke, what's black and white and red all over, a zebra. <laughs> um, <coughs> excuse me. So. <coughs> Goodness. All right. And I am also doing the edge black. I know we had talked about just just a minute ago you you wanted it red or pink. Um it's that's going to stick out the red or pink is is going to stick out from uh the black scallops, so it's really kind of your call. Um, and again, you don't have to do this design. I've, you know, the one thing that I really love about teaching uh, these big classes in person when we, we're not dealing with COVID cooties is um, I would walk in with 25 pieces of metal and 12 paint colors and, you know, 10 different bows or, you know, whatever the case may be. And all 25 of the pieces that walked out were, were different um every time so as you can see super cute so yeah so that's what i absolutely love about um well i mean i am a recovering educator so i you know teaching i'm, I'm totally good with but just the creativity of people and um just the ideas they get i think some sometimes people get overwhelmed with the creativity and you can do something so simple and do it well and i think that's creative I, like i don't feel like people need to um feel intimidated by you know cuteness and metal cuteness and creativity because it, it's whatever you want it to be now obviously you need to keep your own artistic abilities in mind <laughs> but um i'm no bob ross i'm just gonna put that out there but um, I, I can, I can hang with, uh, I can hang with the polka dot crowd and, uh, just kind of think about how to do some of the different designs. So, so yeah. All right. And this will take a long time. So if you have kids who are impatient or if you are impatient, or you just want to get it done then i would probably suggest not this um you know there is something to be said about painting it red or painting it pink and uh just putting the white polka dots on it and putting the bow on it and you're good to go you know I, something about that simple valentine elegance is just super cute so 
highly encourage that. But, and as a reminder, the paint we are using is Sherwin-Williams latex paint. So it will stain. <laughs> it's not coming out of your clothes. So, um, you know, make sure you're, you know, wearing something that if it does get some paint on it, you're not upset about it. Um, also protect your workspace. So as you can see, I have like a brown, just a brown paper um, on my craft table here in the workshop. So it does a really good job of kind of just soaking in all the extra paint that kind of gets on it. Um, you know, that could be a newspaper for you. That could be, you know, maybe some some junk mail. You know, some, maybe you have an old plastic um, tablecloth that you don't, you've had for years and you don't know why you have it. I mean, put it down and, you know, protect your workspace. So um, the other thing also that I'd like to mention is that like, feel free to add on to your design if you would like. Some people had inquired about glitter. I have a video, a design video called um, finishing, something like that, like finishing video or finishing options or something like that. For a little bit, it talks about um, if you wanted to put some, a type of protectant spray on this, like what you should and should not use based on my own research. Um, but, and by the way, you do not have to use any type of protectant spray. Um, this is going to last just fine. Sometimes people just feel they need to do that. And I provide some guidance, which ones to kind of stay away from. Um, but I also talk about glitter. So, you know, glitter and, um, Valentine's day tend to go kind of hand in hand. So you could head over to that design video and check out my information about glitter options that you could be interested in. Um, I, I also encourage you to go just go check out all the design videos like if you want to know how to do like a palette look if you want to know how to do um a there we go if you wanted to know how to do uh, a buffalo plaid check design and in, in your on your shape like i i have an easy way to do that stripes is coming you know i just think i'm um, as i Find, as I do different design ideas and people are like, oh, that makes sense. I'm trying to put them on the video um, and on the YouTube channel. So, okay. So as you can see, I got my scallops done. Um, super cute. Uh, I'm going to grab my hair dryer and plug it in. And then um, I'm going to show you how my hair dryer works and how you should use a hair dryer if that's what you're going to use. So one second. My apologies. We're gonna do this for a little bit because I'm kind of connected to the wall. So this is my super awesome, um, super sturdy Dollar General hair dryer. So it doesn't have to be something fancy. On mine, you notice this blue button. Like I was saying, I have to hold that button in when I um, uh, when it's on, so it will stay cool in order to dry it. So I'm just gonna kind of blast this. I'll wave at you when I'm done because let's be honest, I, I'm not a YouTube star. Obviously, if I can't remember to t hit the record button, um, <laughs> definitely not a YouTube star. And I will wave at you when I'm done with the hair dryer so that you know to um, come back if you turn your volume down, okay?
All right, let's turn it back this way so you don't have to look at my messy, messy workshop. That's what happens when you have 90 paint kits take over your little slice of heaven. So, okay. So as you can see, oh no, okay. Um, I've got the black done. Now, when you notice that I was kind of um, looking at it, I was kind of rubbing my hand over it. Typically when you rub your hand over it and there's nothing that comes off, um, it's good to go for your next coat. Um, also, the other way you can kind of do is if you can pick it up and kind of shine it or like get it to... <laughs> oh, goodness, goodness. <sighs> I'm sorry. If you just look at it like in the light, like that's what I was trying to say. My apologies. Um... <laughs> You can, if it's still shiny, that means it's still wet. Um, if it's if it's kind of a, a dull sheen, then you're good to go. All right, um, I'm gonna grab my skinny brush and I'm just gonna go in and fill like the, the small areas where um, I feel like it needs. That's the other great thing is that if the whole thing doesn't need a whole nother coat, don't do it, you know? Um, just do what needs it needs to be done. That's what makes this, I mean, you can make this as intricate um, or as fancy or as simple as you want it. Um, the skinny brush is also a really good tool to use when you're just trying to grab that side. Um, I'm, I'm gonna do that. This is gonna be on the door to my workshop, so people will be right up on it. And so just make sure it's just nice clean edges. So, and again, it doesn't take a lot of paint. You probably will have extra paint. Um, you are welcome to keep it, uh, you know, and use it for other crafts. Just a reminder, it's latex paint. Sometimes latex paint isn't the best option for certain crafts or certain kids certain age of kids um or the other option is you know you can keep it in in a safe dry cool place and um purchase other uh kits so we we always have monthly uh paint kits available and you can just kind of increase your paint stash if you will and get get a cute 12 inch hanger for every month of the year so we're getting ready to release march so we are always a month ahead so in february we release the march kit and um that will be a shamrock which that was one of the shapes for springfield high but um, we will also be doing a very special, super cute little guy. I think we're gonna do a gnome. So I know a lot of people are big into gnomes. I, I, I'm not. Um, you would be shocked to learn that unless it's Christmas or fall or my door, not big into decor like decorating I, I'm just not home enough well I'm home well no I'm home enough um just busy you know so but go ahead and finish that out all right all right cool so I've got that done I'm going to use my hair dryer one more time so I will wave at you when I'm done. to go go to our next step 
So here's where we stand. I think it's just really super cute. Very nostalgic, kind of that um, old time Valentine's look. So, all right. So next um, I'm going to add polka dots. Now in your kit, you came up, it came with some medium polka dots and some small polka dots, okay? Um, you are more than welcome to use all of them, none of them, some of them, whatever you would like to do. Uh, these are exterior vinyl, so they are rated for five years of exterior wear outdoors. So it's not going anywhere. Um, if a polka dot falls off, 98% of the time it's because of application error. So there was a bubble underneath, uh, there was wet paint underneath when you put the polka dot down, the polka dot wasn't fully adhered, things like that. Whereas like the actual vinyl itself is going to be just fine. So, um... I think I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go with the small. I'm kind of digging the smalls right now. So um, you just peel them off like a sticker. And this is the only rule that it, when it comes to vinyl, once you stick, you must commit. So be very judicious and where you choose to put your polka dots. Um, but once you put them there, they're there forever. So, and I just like the kind of, um, the random look, you know, that's just <laughs> probably because that's how my life is today. Uh, that's how my life is every day. But um, it's just it's just really super cute, you know. So as you can see, I'm kind of just putting them here and there. And if you want to know some other ways you can make polka dots, um, I do have a video it's titled like all the polka dots or something along those lines. Um, it, it will show you how to do all the polka dots everywhere. Um, different ways with the tools that you have to make more polka dots, add to the polka dots, that kind of thing. So, okay, and then I feel like I need one right, I guess kind of there. All right. So again, really super easy. I mean, this is all I'm really gonna do. Um, one thing I could do if I wanted to, which I might, I'll show you guys how to do that. I'll show you how to do tiny polka dots. So we're gonna grab our skinny brush and we're gonna use the end of it and we're just going to barely put it in the paint. So see how it's just, just a little bit and just a little dab, a little dab will do ya, okay? Um, you can usually get about two, two little tiny polka dots out of one little dip in the, in the paint, if you will. Yeah. Don't ever do that to your pants. Walk them out. That's why I don't wear really nice clothes. So there. That um, is our, you know what? I think I need one right there. Yeah, I need one right there. Um, sometimes you just need to walk away for a minute and just take a look at it and then be like, eh, yeah, one more. Um, you do not, again, like I've said over and over again, you do not have to do this design. It's just a very simple way to create a design for um, a heart that's just not, you know, whatever. So I'm gonna blast it with my hair dryer one more time. So I will wave at you when I'm done. Okay, so 
our shape is done. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the bow off of our bag. Hopefully you didn't throw it away. And um, we're going to put both legs of the pipe cleaner through the hole, okay? So both legs go through the hole and then you'll pull them through. So you kind of see what I'm doing here. So it's gonna look like that there. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna crisscross them and then wrap them around. And this is your hanger, ladies and gentlemen. This is just as sturdy as any uh, wire we would give you for this. And um, I think that's just absolutely adorable. I don't know about you, but I just think that's just too cute for words. So I thank you all for, <laughs> for your patience in making this video. Goodness gracious, this was like take two and all the yawning. <laughs> That's life, right? All right, so I thank you so much. I thank you for for supporting Springfield High Boosters and creating with me. Have a good day.